sales has a big part in the role for new product or product enhancements because the first you hear of it is when you're in the field. The customer had a application where they were auger feeding a mush starch into a pump and they were having issues with those pumps uh, wearing out, breaking. They did not have the lifetime that they needed to have. We expected right away that an FKL pump was the right pump for that application. They wanted to try to see if the pump would do the duty first and then see if it can be changed a little bit to meet their exact needs. We put the pump in and it, uh, it worked reasonably well but we need to be able to have a version that's easy to take apart and clean. So we sat down and we started reviewing all the data that we had. That was sort of the moment. We realized that we are miss missing out on applications because we did not have a COP design pump. Standard FKL pumps are typically clean in place or CIP-able. They're not gonna be cleaning it in place and in with the pipe work. So we needed to slightly adapt that FKL CIP-able pump to a COP pump. COP equals clean out of place. Thus, the COP pump, clean out of place, was developed here based upon our standard FKL pump chassis. We were aiming to attack products that are so viscous that they can't be cleaned with just a solution. So mashed potatoes, processed poultry, cheese, any kind of thick, sticky product. They need to have this equipment taken apart, put back together, simply, easily, and repeatable. There's only three removable parts. You take the pump apart, put it back together, and it's done. it can be done nightly. We have advantages in the pump. Higher pressure rating, robust shafts, large bearings, run slow, tough pump, can't break them. The COP pump gives you the balanced rotors and the unbreakable shaft, and it's, it's nice knowing that 100% of our products are coming out of this facility in the USA. Pumps are made here. If you need something, if you need a part, it's easy for us to make it and get it to you quickly. It's here and you have support here. We try not to make Mr. Know-it-all pieces of equipment and say, you gotta use it like this. They tell us, hey, it'd be nice to have this aspect or that aspect. And that's really what drives a successful product development.